number one is the like uh, closed cap. Yeah, closed cap. And just uh, like consolidation exercise. Right. Thank you. Okay. Um, do you have other comments? will check their homework and uh, uh, which group uh, pre uh, present um, best they can show show to all the students. Oh. It's the feedback. I, 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 actually, I, I forgot to ask many of uh, these uh, one question. So uh, how much time do you expect for this kind of lesson? Do you specify the time? Yes, we considering the, we have considered this time. Not only two, I think most of you didn't mention the time, right? <laughs> yes, actually. So for example, like if we uh, if we add too many things about the two words in a group, that will uh, use too many times, and I think it is um, it cannot control in just forty five minutes in a class. So this is forty five minutes. Yeah, this is forty five minutes. So we didn't talk too many usage of the words. Okay, maybe you should, uh, because this instruction is uh, the beginning is from me and I'm a teacher <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a sec a junior secondary school. So there, uh, for me, uh, there the, the time for one class is 45 minutes and my students are middle level or, high, uh, or higher level. So uh, from the beginning of this design is from me. So I just uh, design, uh, uh, finish this design according to my students' level. Uh, thanks for your advice. Uh, but I think it's, it's quite enough, enough time for my students to finish, to distinguish the three groups of words in one yes, class. Yes, in one class. And uh, one more thing I want to say uh, is that um, the, most the most important thing for students is to is to teach them how to use the tool, not just uh, focusing on the on the distinguish on distinguishing the verbs. Yes, I agree with her. The most important things is used, mm -hmm. used. So we we use too much time on this uh, the the last step. So um, just uh, like uh, this uh, this peer told me that um, we should focus on just uh, two words and talk. Talk more, uh, talk more things, but I, I think it can't be finished in just one, just one class. They just don't know the tool Dr. Ma told us to study English. Uh, if we can tell them the tool, the, uh -huh. the lab work uh, of studying English, they can use them quickly. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have one comment. Yeah. So actually, uh, you use to make them to, make them to, make them to, right? Yeah. As an example to show them how to uh, search the uh, topic. Uh, 
they can do. Actually, this would be a difficult because they can do uh, already. I think they don't know the difference between they can do. You know, the, they can they, they frequently you know they can do. They actually most of the maybe students they don't know how to differentiate. Uh, you know, uh, this pair. So if you use a difficult pair here, you know, it will make them more confused. So actually, you are not learning three pairs; you're learning four pairs in this lesson. Is that right? Uh, you you mean that we sh the example we should use easier? Some simple example. Oh, yeah. simple. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because you, your purpose is just to give them a quick demonstration how to search, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. Uh, for example, like uh, make and do actually is an example showed in the video lesson, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a whole lesson, and now you try to maybe use five minutes, <laughs> you know, to make the students understand the difference. I think it will be very difficult, this part. Yes. Okay, try to use some easier example, okay? Don't use make and do, because I think make and do will be more difficult than look and see, <laughs> right? Uh. Do you agree? <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. All right. So do you believe? Which micro? Okay. So, here is our group activity design. Uh, our level of student is primary six of intermediate level. Uh, with 20 students in total, and we actually adapt, uh, we actually design our lesson plan with adaptation to the Hong Kong textbook from Roman Elect 6A and Chapter 5 our favorite film. And the topic will be Disney films like Frozen and Finding Nemo, and the target vocabulary items will be ED and ING adjectives, and our focus is on bored and boring. And we plan to use uh, like student con concordance uh, and the corpus, ch the, the chosen corpus will be 2K graded, which is suitable for upper primary level. So uh, one special thing about our lesson is there is a context. We would like to adopt a context throughout the whole lesson so that students can connect different parts of the lesson in, in a better way. So the context is, it is Disney Film Week and all students are going to enjoy a lot of Disney films and we have chosen Frozen and Finding Memo for them. So during the week, students will learn how to describe different things using ED or ING adjectives and learn how to write a short film review using uh, the adjectives. So uh, we plan to uh, uh, implement this lesson in a double lesson with 18 minutes in total. So. Uh, we have three stages in total, so we, I will explain it one by one by referring to the uh, learning materials. So this is the first part, stage one. Okay, you can see testing students' knowledge and raising their awareness of the words. So uh, assuming that students have watched the film Fosun before this lesson, so they have a brief idea of how uh, the film Fosun is going on. So this part serves as a purpose to check their understandings of the film. And so we uh, capture some uh, scenes from the movie, and okay, this is this is Anna and this is uh, Elsa. So they have to 
fill in the blanks with either bored or boring. So their awareness can be raised and to see if they can, they, they can really distinguish between the two. And after that, so it is an individual task. After that, uh, they will work in pairs. Okay, the, the, the reason for working in pairs is that we want to uh, have a peer assessment so they can look at each other's work and check if their answers are the same. If there is differences, they can explore why. So they can start brainstorming the reason uh, or the, the rule of using bored or boring okay, by doing a pair work. Okay, so this is the first stage. And this, yeah, so this is the stage one. And stage two is, will be the hands-on ex, uh, corpus, ex, corpus search and inductive discover, discovery by students. So uh, in this task, students will be work into groups of, uh, into groups of five, okay? So uh, they will be asked to search the word from the corpus or if there is no PC, we will provide the concordance lines for them. So there are some clear guidelines provided. So uh, the aim is to compare, oh, sorry. The aim is to compare the use of the two adjectives. So this is the concordance lines of board. And so these are the tasks or that students have to do. So they first have to read the sentence that contains the word board. So for example, this one, and I would be bored to death in a month, okay? So they just read this sentence because they're P6, they can't read that much. And they have to circle the subject of the sentence. So this is a demonstration, the demonstration we circle the subject. And they have to think if the subject is a person or a thing. Then they can choose uh, to uh, work on all sentences or just choose a few and they can have a short summary. Most of the subjects are people or things. They can circle it. And for boring, it's similar. So also read the sentence that contains the word boring, but this time it's different from the word board is because sometimes there is no any subject. So the focus is on the word after the adjective boring. So I have to either circle the subjects or underline the word after the adjective boring. And to again think of, think if the subject is a person or a thing or an, uh, the word underlined is a noun, a verb, an adverb, an adjective. And also they can have a short sum up to see the difference between the two. So, uh, so this is a uh, beginning of exploring the, two, the usage of the two words. And then uh, we will look into the sentence pattern, how they can write complete sentences because they are required to produce a short film review at the end. So they have to explore the sentence pattern and one has been done for them as an example for each of the adjective, okay? So they can uh, just deconstruct it into a simpler way. And then we, this comes to the summary part. So uh, they can have a, have a mindset that when to use ED adjectives or when to use ING adjectives. And then the most important thing is in order to make the individual task at the beginning much more complete and consistent, they have student teachers will ask students to go back to the individual task and discuss in groups whether they want to change some of the blanks to see if they can really apply what they've learned through the corpus search. So uh, this will be the end of the frozen part, and then we are going to we are going to tell students that okay, we have finished watching and exploring frozen, and then we are going to watch finding 